I am a, I am Master Academy for about three years now. Joined July 2017, and um, you know, I kind of want to give you guys some insight on my story, and that'll kind of provide some some clarity as to you know what you have going on, and you might be able to relate in some way, shape, or form, right? So I joined July 2017, and just like you, right? And, and at the at the time. I felt as though I got sold a dream, right? I know a lot of you guys can probably relate to that where you had somebody tell you that, yeah, you can make a lot of money trading Forex. It's simple, it's easy, right? And you decide, okay, cool, right? You guys are telling me that I can make a lot of money very simply for a, a relatively small price. Let me go ahead and invest in it, okay? Let me go ahead and, and see if this is worth the investment. And I, I took the shot, I paid, at, at, at the time the price was 195, right? I paid my 195 and whatnot. And similar to you know a lot of you guys' stories, right? I went inactive. Right? I went inactive. I know a lot of you guys probably, you know, went inactive at some point, some some point in, in, in this in your career with this business. But I went inactive, right? Not because I didn't necessarily believe what was going on, but I wasn't getting enough results and it wasn't necessarily didn't seem like it was worth my time. So fast forward to January of 2018, there was a switch. At the beginning of 2018, there was a switch, right? And that switch ultimately opened up my perspective as to what this opportunity was really about. And that's when I finally started to take it seriously. And it's been, a, you know, uphill ever since. So for you guys, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I can get you guys to make that switch, that have that epiphany in your mind, where you realize that this opportunity that you got, got that you got your hands on, right, is completely different from anything else that you've ever had your hands on before. Okay, it's completely different from anything that you ever had had your hands on before. Okay, it's completely different from <clears throat> from 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 anything that you ever had your hands on before. All right, so I want you to start to think about the the concept of life. Start to think about everything that you've encountered in your life, right? And I want you to start to ask yourself, right? Out of all of the opportunities that you've been presented in life, it could be a job, right? It could be a side hustle, whatever it was. I want you to ask yourself, how many of those opportunities can make you a million dollars, right? So the first question I had to ask myself, right? I'm looking back at every single thing that I did. I'm like, okay, cool. How many things have I done that could have made me, me, a million dollars, right? Now, I used to play, you know, sports in high school. But unfortunately, I'm not 6'5". I'm more on the 5'11 side. So going to the NBA, not, not a realistic thing, right? So yeah, you might have played basketball. You might have played football. You might have, you know, did that. And that can make a million dollars. But that wasn't the question. The question was, can it make you a million dollars? Right? And I'm going to try to give the chat box one more chance. Can it make you a million dollars? That's the question, right? Can it make you a million dollars? And I asked myself, okay, cool. I could be a rapper because I'm on the defensive, right? You guys have to understand that naturally when it comes to making money, you're going to be on the defensive, right? You're going to project your insecurities because, right, that's just what humans do. That's the same reason that anytime that you see somebody with a chain on, right? Anytime you see somebody with a lot of money, right, with nice cars, right, with nice clothes, right? The first thing that you try to do is taint a bad image of that person. When you see somebody with a chain on, the first thing that you say is he's probably a scammer, right? He probably scammed to do that. You know, the money's real, right? Because you can't debate that the money's real, but you're trying to debate the legitimacy of the money. He's probably a scam. He's making money, but he's a scammer. He'll be in jail soon, right? And that's what you naturally try to do. When you see this type of money, you say, oh, is he, is, he, is he even paying his taxes, right? You try to create a narrative as to why what he's doing can't be real because you're so focused on the fact that your story is the way it is. Your life is the way it is. You can't fathom that somebody can get massive success without being a rapper or without being an athlete. And you wanna know why you can't understand it, you can't wrap your mind around it? 
right? You can't wrap your mind around it because if he's not a rapper and he's not an athlete, then he's probably a normal person, right? He's not a celebrity, therefore he must be a normal individual, right? And, that, and that's in a sense why when people come into this opportunity, they don't necessarily know or believe right away that, yo, I can do this. I can be a million, I can be a million dollar earner. Instead, what they start doing is start projecting their insecurities, right? And you have to be more so aware of those insecurities, right? So that's what I had to ask myself. <clears throat> Am I going to be able to make a million dollars from this opportunity? Absolutely, because the people that are doing are absolutely normal. Right. So as far as what you know, <clears throat> what it comes down to this, it comes down to this, right? So I'm, I'm about to give you guys, you know, pretty much a blueprint. I think that's that's the that's the route that I, that I'll go for today, right? So I'll give you guys an option, right? We got two topics. You can drop a one, or you can drop a two. We can talk about the blueprint step by step, or we can talk about the real problem, which is how to stay consistent. So either stay, either how to stay consistent, how to stay motivated, right? Or the actual blueprint. Number one is the blueprint. Number two is how to stay con consistently motivated. Number one, I'm gonna show you step by step what you need to be doing and the information that you need to be passing on, right? <clears throat> and it seems to me, right? Wow. So it looks like we're getting more ones than anything else. Let me go ahead and clear the chat. Sheesh. Webinar settings. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So I got more ones than anything else. So I, I think that's what we're going to talk about, right? So let's talk about the blueprint, right? I like to go step by step, step by step, step by step, right? So <clears throat> as far as the blueprint is concerned, I need you guys to take, very, you know, take notes and pay attention to what we're about to talk about. Right, because a lot of times what happens is you might be motivated, right? You might want to win, but you just don't know how to win. Okay, you might be motivated. You might say, Ray, I want to be a millionaire. I'm trying, I'm putting in effort, right? I'm not going to open up the chat, but if you right now feel as though that you're putting in effort, but you're just not getting the results that you want from this business, you're saying, Ray. I see people going chairman. I see people going platinum 5,000. I see people's lives changing with this opportunity. I just don't know how, <clears throat> excuse me, then this is the information that you need, right? Now, what I'm gonna tell you is this. Once you know the how, once you understand how to do it, right? That's the, that's the best and the worst position to be in because at that point, you're making the conscious decision as to whether you want to win or not, right? Because if you don't know any better, that's fine. You can't help that. And that's what this call is here to do, to enlighten you. You cannot help that, right? You can't necessarily help that, right? But once you know, once you're aware that, okay, these are the things that I have to do, and I understand that if I do them, I'm gonna win. Once you wake up in the morning and decide not to do them, right, at that point, you have to have a conversation with yourself and ask yourself, right, do I really want to get rich? Do I really want to put in the work to get rich, right? And that's what it comes down to, right? So let's go ahead and, and get started with the first step, you guys, the first step into building this business blueprint talk, right? We're going to talk about how to pitch everything. The first step is very, very simple. You have to educate yourself. Everybody go ahead and write that down, right? You have to educate yourself. Now, I'm going to give you guys a specific blueprint. I don't just mean educate yourself, right? There's two things that you have to educate yourself on if you're saying, okay, right, I made a decision that I came here to get rich, right? Some of you guys came here to, to learn how to trade, but if you came here to get rich, right, to, to fly through the comp plan, that's what this conversation is about. And you're also going to be able to, you know, learn how to trade. But let's talk about it. Number one, you have to educate yourself. The two things that you have to educate yourself on are as follows. Number one, you need a basic training. And number two, you need a good risk management training. Okay? Number one, you need a basic training. And number two, you need a good risk management training. 
right? Why are those steps so important, right? Usually people tell you the first thing you got to do is make money, but, and when you're trying to build an organization, your blueprint has to be duplicatable, meaning if I pass the information from one person to another, they can get the same or similar results, right? That's what the definition of duplicatable mean is, right? If I pass the info to the next person, he's able to get the same or similar results doing the same exact thing that I did, right? If you pass on the information to somebody and they do the same thing you did and can get, excuse me, different results, then that is not duplicatable, right? So the reason that you have to get on the basic training and that you have to learn good risk management is because if I tell you to just get in a trade, you can come in today, you can get in a trade and you can make money, right? And then the next person can get in a trade in that same, in that same trade, blow an account, right? With that same trade, they can blow an account, right? With that same exact trade, they can blow an account just because they didn't necessarily know what they were doing. They were just listening. You have to know the how, right? So that's the first thing. Basic training. I'm going to know how to get in the trade, how to get out of a trade, how to navigate through the MetaTrader 4, how to navigate through Pocket Option or the HFX platforms. And I'm going to learn good risk management because at the end of the day, what good are trades if I don't know how to leverage my money? The products at IM Mastery Academy are always going to give you more wins than losses. But if you don't understand how to win, you can't pass the information over, right? <clears throat> so it starts with your foundation. If you don't understand how to win, how you can get results, it's going to be difficult for you to build the team. It's going to be difficult for you to start to get the, you know, get, get, get a churning or whatever, right? So the first step is that I'm going to get on my basic training. Right, I'm gonna get on my basic training and I'm gonna go ahead and learn good risk management, okay? Now moving forward, that's the first step. I educate myself, right? This is gonna be the second step, number two. You have to make money the simplest way possible, okay? You have to make money the simplest way possible. It's not just about getting results, but you have to make sure that your results are simple. The simpler your results, the more duplicatable they can be. So I'm gonna give you guys an example. If I come in and, and I learn how to use the harmonic scanner day one, and I, the, 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 my, the way for me to make money is using the harmonic scanner, that's not gonna be, that's duplicatable but it takes you a lot longer, right? So my, my, my take on the blueprint is this, right? You have to make money using signals before you learn a strategy. Earn while you learn. A lot of times we come into this business and we wanna learn and then we earn. No, it's earn while you learn. Everybody doesn't have to understand. Everybody doesn't have the mental capacity to just sit there and learn how to trade overnight. Right? Everybody doesn't have the free time that you have to sit down and learn how to use the scanner. Some people have jobs. Some people have two jobs. Some people have kids. You have to find a way that works for everybody, not just you, right? Not just you, but everybody, right? And that's what you have to be, you know, you can't be selfish. It's not just what works, it's about what's duplicatable. So, this is what I'm going to tell you guys to use Gold Cup and Swipe Coin. If you're trading FRX, Forex, Gold cup and swipe coin, write those down. Those work. Swipe coin was just 37 and one. <clears throat> Let me see if I still got the screenshot. Let me see if I still got the screenshot. Right? Absolutely. I'm about to show you guys. Right? Gold cup. This is swipe coin. Right? 37 and one. This is what, what people pay for, 37 and one. From October 1st to about a few days ago, November 16th, 38 trades were sent out. We were able to get 37 wins and just one loss. 
it's absolutely ridiculous the, the the type of success that we're pushing out with the with, with, with the products that we have, right? So if you think about swipe coin, people are able to make money by knowing the bare minimum. I was able to make thousands of dollars, right, during this spree, right, during this time, not because I was an expert trader, but just because I was plugged in, right? Now I want you to think about what about that person that just joined, right? That doesn't know what's going on. What about that person that's interested in Forex, right? But their main question is, am I gonna have time to do it? Is it gonna, what if it's hard, right? And, that, and, and, that, and that's why we have to make it as simple, you know, duplicated as possible. And that's just, you know, swipe coin and whatnot, right? That's just an example of swipe coin, right? So swipe coin and gold cup. And then if you're trading HFX, if you're trading HFX, you need to go and go live. Somebody said hourglass. Nah, hourglass is a strategy. No, you need to go and go live and you need to get on Millie Mills or Matthew Thayer, right? Those are my top, those are my personal favorites. Maddie Pips or Millie Mills. Millie Mills is in the morning. Maddie Pips is at night, right? Why are they so important? Because before you learn the strategy, all you have to do is get on a call with Maddie Pips. And Maddie Pips is gonna tell you, get into this trade, we're gonna get in the trade at the same time. And everybody has their own, their own favorites, their own picks, but that's just my personal favorites, right? This is my personal preference, okay? This is my personal preference. So when I'm thinking about the blueprint, when I'm thinking about how to, how to, how to build this business, right? <clears throat> Number one, the first step is that I'm gonna go ahead and get in and make sure that I know my basic training. I know how to get in and out of trades. I know how to navigate through the platform, right? I know how to navigate through the platform. And number two, I know, you know I'm getting into duplicatable trades. So it's basic training, good risk management, and you know that's all step one, okay? All step one. And then step two is how to make money. You're gonna, if you're trading FRX, you're gonna use Swipe Coin, you're gonna use Gold Cup, right? And with uh, HFX, you're gonna use the live sessions. Now remember what I told you guys, you have to make money using the products before you learn a strategy. Before you learn the strategy, trust me. If you go out and just learn the strategy off rip, when people join your business, you're going to be dependent on their ability to learn the strategy to make money. Now, you got to ask yourself, what's easier, right? What's easier, them copying and pasting the trade and, know, and learning good risk management, learning how to leverage their money, or them coming in and learning how to use MA Cross or, you know, the harmonic scanner or hourglass, right? Yes, it's duplicatable, but it's not as simple, okay? So that's, um, that's first and foremost. So you got to educate yourself. What are you educating yourself on? Good risk management, as well as the basic trainings. And then number three, I mean, number two, right? You're going to go ahead and make sure that you're getting in copy, paste, profit. Very simple. You're either going to get in a live session with HFX, live session with HFX, or you're going to use Swipe Coin or a gold cup, okay? And that's pretty much simple, straightforward. So now you got results, right? You got results. DeLorean, you have to learn, you have to learn how to use DeLorean, right? You can't copy and paste DeLorean. You have to learn how to use that first, right? DeLorean, the harmonic scanner, all that stuff comes second, right? Because you have to learn something that everybody can do, that everybody can do. Right, that everybody can do. Not just the smart people, not just the people that have a lot of time in their hands and whatnot, right? So we'll go ahead and move forward to that step, that's step two, right? Now, step three, right? Step three, now that you've made money, now that you've gotten results, now that you, you, you've made cash, and I, I, I talked about this on my live the other day, right? I talked about this on my live the other day,
right? Now it's time, how do we pitch, right? How do we pitch a prospect, right? And I'm gonna change my name, my Instagram name is Ray Rice, it's on here, right? How do, we, how do we pitch a prospect? So I'm gonna talk about the different ways that you can pitch a prospect, right? Number three, right? Pitching prospects. The first type of prospect is gonna call it a cold lead. Everybody write that down. It's called a cold lead, right? A cold lead. A cold lead is somebody that has not expressed their interest in Forex to you. They've never out, out, outwardly told you, Ray, I'm interested in trading, right? I'm interested in trading. So a cold lead, that's going to be all of your friends, all of your family, right? As well as going to your phone, all of the contacts in your cell phone, all of the contacts in your cell phone, those are cold leads, right? Because you know them, they know you, but you don't know if they're interested in Forex. Right now, let's walk. Let's walk you through what's going. What's going on? Right. Let's walk you through what's going on. The reason that a lot of times people don't know how to get with cold contact, cold leads, is simply because, right? You don't know. You you don't know how to go about it. Right. You don't know how to go about it. Right. Think about when you try to explain forex to somebody who didn't ask you. I want you to think about, think about the last time you tried to explain Forex to somebody who didn't ask you. You try to hit your friend up, hey man, you ever heard about Forex? And they say, what is that, bro? Or they say, yeah, bro, yeah, it was a scam, right? It's called a code, like I'm cold, I'm shivering lead. Like I'm leading, bro, right? So think about that. Every time that you try to put somebody on, you fumble the bag. I'm about to give you guys the sauce so that you never fumble the bag ever again, right? So that you never fumble the bag ever again. This is what you gotta do. <clears throat> First, you need to make a list of prospects, right? Make a list of prospects. So I want you to go on your cell phone and I, didn't, I, I don't want you to think about what do you think. I don't want you to think, oh, maybe he doesn't wanna do it. Maybe, no. Right? I want you to write down a list of everybody in your cell phone. A list of everybody you know. Try to make a list of 100 people. Right? Try to make a list of 100 people. Okay? That's going to be that's going to be super duper important. You got to make that list. Now, a lot of times people make the list and they don't know how to approach the list. This is how you approach the list. I'm going to give you guys a script. I'm going to give you guys a script on how you can get people that don't know anything about Forex interested. Right? Interested. How do we get them interested? Right? How do I close these individuals? Right? Now I'm going to walk you through what you usually do. This is what you usually do. Right? You text somebody, you call them, and you say, hey, bro, you know, uh, how's Forex going? You know, I, I, you ever heard of Forex and it doesn't work? It's a perfect invitation. The perfect invitation. So this is what you do, right? This is what you do. The first thing you do is you call them with, it, with excitement. You have to get excited. Right? I want you to get excited. You want to know why you have to get excited? Because they're going to treat the opportunity how you treat it. If you think of this opportunity as a side hustle, then they're going to think of it as a side hustle. Right? But if you think of this as the solution to your problems, it's going to be a completely different vibe. If you think that this opportunity is going to take you out of poverty, if you think that this opportunity is going to be the reason that you can retire early, if you think that this opportunity is going to be the reason that you quit your job, that you finally get a Lamborghini, that you get what you want, if you think that this is the answer to your problems, they're going to feel the same way. So before you pick up that phone, you have to get excited. 
you got to remind yourself, yo, this is, this is not nothing like I've ever seen before. Right? I got a solution. You have to convince yourself before it happens that, yo, this is real. I can make a million, I got a million dollar blueprint in the palm of my hands, bro. That's before you get on the phone, you gotta get excited. I'm excited, right? Sometimes you have to fake it. You have to get into character. Get into character. Do some jumping jacks. Get up and start, you know, saddle boxing, right? Get up and start moving in your crib. Get up and start moving. If you gotta jump up and down, right? If you gotta do some jumping jacks, Whatever you got to do, get up and do it, but get hyped, get excited, right? I know a lot of you guys are going to think that this is corny, that this is boring, right? But this is how you get rich. You have to get excited first. But now what do you do? So now that I'm excited, now that I'm excited, I'm going to call him, right? And I'm going to make sure that he's excited too. I'm going to make sure that he's excited too. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to call him. I'm going to say, I'm gonna call my, my, my friend, uh, John, right? I'm gonna say, John, where are you at right now? Yo, bro, why are you yelling? Yo, bro, do you have your headphones in? Who are you around? I'm telling give you the script. Who are you around right now? Do you have your headphones in? Bro, can you step outside, bro? This is important, right? Usually when you ask somebody who they're around, when you ask somebody who they're around, they tend to think, Okay, he probably, he, he's about to tell me something important. He's about to tell me something important. If I ask you, yo, bro, yo, you around anybody, bro? He probably like, okay. He probably gonna say something important that he doesn't want anybody else to hear. When I ask him, does he have his headphones on? It's cause, okay, he's asking me, do I have my headphones on? Because he doesn't want to be on speaker, right? He doesn't want anybody to hear what's going on. I'm asking him, can he step outside, right? Because this is serious, bro. I need you to give me your undivided attention. Yo, bro, this is important. Do you have a second? This is important, bro. Do you got a second, bro? Get excited, <clears throat> right? Somebody said, what if he says, nah, you're already thinking the wrong way. You're not excited enough. If you're excited, he's going to get excited. He's not going to say, nah, I don't have time. You're just not excited enough. Right? I didn't, add, I didn't say, do you have an hour? I said, bro, do you have a second? So he says, yeah, bro, what's going on? <clears throat> right? Next. So after I called him and I, asked, and I got him excited and I, and I got his attention, the next thing that I'm going to do, right? The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make an exaggerated claim. I'm going to say something crazy. Right. This this is a key. I want you to write this down. Never mention forex over the phone. Never mention forex over the phone. Why? Because he's heard negative things about forex, and he doesn't have his own opinion about it. So the moment he hears forex, he's gonna think, "Oh, that's that scam thing." Right? He maybe has a friend that tried it and didn't work. Right. So for whatever reason, you don't want to talk Forex because, right, there's a negative connotation behind it. Not because Forex doesn't work, right, but because there's a lot of people that talk negative. There's a lot of haters out there. So your friend might have been exposed. So if you say, hey, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm talking about Forex, that, that excitement goes from here to here. You got them excited from here to here. Right? He went from OD excitement, he doesn't know what you're talking about, to boom, Forex. So you know what I do? I don't talk about Forex. I make an exaggerated claim. I make an exaggerated claim. You know what I say? I say something crazy. I say something like, yo, bro. You, you know, I'm like, yo, you got, your, you got your headphones on, whatever. He's like, yeah, I got my headphones on. What's going on? I, I found the answer. I found the cure to poverty. I found a solution. I found a way for us to quit our jobs. I found a way for us to get rich. I found a way to get us out the hood. I found the answer, bro. I'm not 100% sure, bro. 
I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost 99% sure that I found the way. I don't wanna give you a guarantee, bro, but I'm almost 99% sure that this is it. This is what we've been looking for. I'm, mind you, I'm being very broad, but very exaggerated. Very broad, but very exaggerated. He's excited and he doesn't even know what I'm talking about. He's excited and he doesn't even know what he's excited about. He's just like, cure the poverty. It isn't, I don't care what he got going on. He, he here to cure the poverty. And this is not an exaggeration. This is real, but you got to treat it like that. You got to treat it like that. I got the answers, bro. I got the way, bro. I know you've been working that job, bro, and they're not paying, they're not paying us what we need, bro. I'm telling you, but you have to believe it. Right? You have to believe that you that's what you're saying is real. I'm not just saying, yeah, bro, I got to cure the poverty. I convinced myself before I got on the call that I got to cure the poverty. Right? I convinced myself before I got on the call that I got to cure the I got to cure the poverty. Right? Got to understand that. Got to understand that. So now, what happens? Right? He's excited. You just said you got the cure. You got the answers. And he's like, what is it, bro? What, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Now he's, now he's interested. Now he's interested. What are you talking about? Right? Listen, bro. Listen to me. Right? I met, and, and, and now listen. Pay attention to me, right? You should not be explaining what Forex is because these people know you, right? These people know you. And the first thing they're going to ask is, well, how much money you made? You know, people be hating on you, right? And you probably don't, aren't that confident in explaining it. So you need to get people on the webinar, on the webinar, right? Now, here's the thing. Sometimes it's about the edification. People are not going to get on. Imagine if I said this. Hello? Yeah, bro, you know, uh, we got a call at, 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 at 7 o'clock, bro. Make sure that, you know, they're going to teach you about Forex. He's not getting on that call. He's not getting on that call, right? But you need to sell it. So he, he's excited. I'm like, yo, what's going on? What, you know, what are you talking about? What's the solution? Look, bro, I met a millionaire, right? He's 23 years old, and he told me he's going to give me the secrets tonight at 7 o'clock, bro. He's hosting a private webinar where he's going to be giving us the secrets bro and he told me i can bring a plus one and when he told me i can bring one other individual you were the first person that came to mind right as soon as he told me i could bring one other person bro i called you immediately i got a million i met a millionaire bro at seven o'clock i'm telling you the source bro i met a millionaire and at 7 p.m. tonight, not tomorrow, bro, tonight, bro, this is never going to happen again. Tonight, bro, he said he's going to give us the secrets. And he said, I can, I can bring one individual with me, and I thought about you first. I thought about you first. I literally thought about you first, bro. I thought about you first. Tonight at 7 p.m., bro, it's not going to happen again, bro. Please, can I, can I lock you in? I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and lock you in tonight, bro. I'm not asking him, I'm telling him, I'm gonna go ahead and lock you in tonight, bro. This is not gonna happen again. I'm not asking him if he's free. I'm not asking him if he's free because I don't care if you're free. When you ask somebody if they're free, you're giving him the option of, oh, oh maybe this isn't that important. Maybe this isn't that important. But when I'm telling him, Yo, bro, you need to get on this call tonight, bro. It's at 7 o'clock, bro, it is what it is, right? And then you tell him, look, bro, I'm going to go ahead and send you the, I'm going I'm to send you the app Zoom, bro. Download the app Zoom. I'm going to send you the link tonight, bro. I'm going to see you tonight. Look, bro, <clears throat> I got to go, bro. Right? I got to go get ready for this call. I got to go, right? Be in a rush. Make it seem like you're so excited to, it, that you, it, you're in a rush and, and get off the phone. What I did was I created a demand for the skill. I created a demand 
for the skill, right? Demand, why? Because I told him that I have access to a millionaire. There's a demand for millionaires. He wants to be a millionaire, there's a demand for that. A demand for what I have and a sense of urgency and a sense of urgency because this doesn't happen every day. Listen, bro, we don't get to talk to a millionaires every day, bro. I'm gonna see you at seven o'clock. Now he understands that to, this is the only time I can do this. It has to happen tonight. It can't happen tomorrow because if, if, if he thinks it can, it can happen tomorrow, he'll do it next week. If he thinks he can do it next week, he'll do it next month. If he thinks he can do it next month, he'll do it next year. The time is now, sense of urgency, get on the phone, right? Now you do that same script to all hundred of your people, get all of them on the webinar, and what your job is to expose them to the information, right? It doesn't matter if they say yes or no, but you're trying to expose them to the information, right? They're not gonna try it if they don't even know what it is, right? All you have to do is convince them to get on that call. And they can get on the call and all they gotta do is hear it. A lot of times where people mess up is that you try to you try to call them and they don't want to hear it. But if you can convince them to listen to it, they might change their mind. Right? Mind you, I didn't get on the phone and tell him I made a million dollars. I didn't get on the phone and lie to him and tell him, yo, bro, I made a thousand dollars. I didn't lie to him. I just told him the truth. It's called edification, right? It's called edification. You have to make this seem like it's the most important thing in the world, right? You gotta convince them that it's the most important thing in the world. And somebody said it, I, I, I love that. Do not, listen, do not give our broke energy. Do not, even if you're broke, you can't act broke. You gotta act like you found out the answers, man. So that's cold leads right there, cold leads. So the people that are in your context, your mom, your dad, all of them, right? Make that list. It could be somebody that you, 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 didn't, you didn't talk to them in five years. You was in the fifth grade with them. You better call them. Yo, bro, I know we've been talking a long time, bro, but listen, man, I remember when we was kids, but we used to talk about getting rich. Guess what? I found an opportunity for us to get rich. 7 p.m. tonight. You ever talked to a millionaire before? I didn't think so. Well, tonight, bro, guess what? I met a millionaire that said, if you have a buddy, bring him along. And I thought about you first. I thought about you first, bro. I didn't even tell my girlfriend, bro. I called you, bro. I didn't even call my girlfriend, bro. I called you first, bro. Make him feel special. Make him feel special. He's like, oh, you thought about me, All right? I knew that if anybody, you got to gas him. I knew that if anybody wanted to get rich, bro, it'd be you. If there's anybody in my contacts that's about their money, that's a go-getter, it's you. If there's anybody that's a go-getter, bro, John is you, bro. That's why I called you, bro. Come on, bro. You... He's getting on the phone. You tell me. He's not getting on the call? He's getting on, the, he's getting on that call. Little does he know it's about, little does he know he's about to hear about a Forex presentation. Little does he know. Yo, little does he know. Yo, little does he know he's going to get on the Zoom call with Bryce Thompson or Ray Rice or whoever, and he's about to hear about Forex. You got to get him in the room first. You got to get him in the room first. You got to get him in the room first, right? You got to get him there. Whatever you got to do to get him on, on there, you got to get him there, bro. They have to hear it, right? They have to hear it. Now, if that was helpful in any way, shape, or form, let me know below, because I'm about to show you guys how to post on Instagram and how to, how to, how to do the social media stuff, right? This call is recorded. Um, I, I, 
I'm going to see if Jason Brown can, I don't know, drop this call somewhere, man, and spread it. But it is, it is recorded. I'm going to talk to Jason Brown and see if we can go ahead and drop this to everybody. Okay? I'm loving, I'm loving the energy. I'm loving the energy. I'm loving the energy. Wow. I'm glad you guys enjoy it so far. I'm glad this is helpful. We got 5,000 people on the call. This is ridiculous, man. It's honestly an honor, man. Honestly an honor. Wow. This is amazing. So I'm about to go ahead and give you guys a sauce next up. So let's make it happen, family. So now let's talk about Let's talk about the next steps, okay? So now we talked about, um, somebody said, is it important to follow chairman? Absolutely. So now let, let's talk about posting on Instagram, all right? Let's talk about hot leads, okay? Hot leads. Somebody drop my Instagram below, at Ray Rice, at Ray Rice on Instagram. Somebody drop it. All right. And now let's talk about hot leads, right? Now, the definition of a hot lead, a hot lead, is hot lead. It's like a leader, lead, right? L-E-A-D, hot lead, right? A hot lead is somebody that's expressed to you that they're interested. They've shown interest, right? You don't, there's, you know for a fact they're interested. A hot lead is anybody that, that's DM'd you on Instagram or on Facebook. That's what a hot lead is, okay? They DM'd you on Instagram, right? They DM'd you on Instagram. Now, as far as posting on Instagram, first off, I'm gonna show you what not to do. Before I show you what to do, I'm gonna show you what not to do, right? This is what you don't do. I'm gonna go to my Instagram very quickly. What you don't do is this. What you don't do is this. Right? DM me if you want to make money trading Forex. Right? DM me if you want to learn how to invest. Whatever the case may be. When you do that, when you write, when you post that on Instagram, you might as well have said this. DM me if you have active Chase Bank of America or Wells Fargo scams are going crazy. You might as well have just posted that if you were gonna post a blank screenshot because you're giving off the same vibe, right? You're giving off the same vibe, right? You have to treat this, you guys, like a business. You have to treat this like a business so that people will take you seriously. If you're giving scammer vibes, people are gonna think you're a scammer even though what you're talking about is legitimate, right? A five-star business, you gotta think five-star business. Would a five-star business put that little effort into a, a Instagram post, right? Think about it. Would, would any five-star business put that little bit of effort? There's no business. You go to Wells Fargo, JP Morgan Chase, you talk about, you know, 
Fashion Nova, whatever business on Instagram, none of them going to put that little, you know, effort into it. Right? You got to put some effort into it, man. So it's a five-star business. I'm going to give you guys some keys. Right? Everybody write this down. Add value. Add value. Okay? Add value. The way that you get your followers to want what you have is when you add value to them, right? How do you add value, right? You add value when you teach them something or when you get them to feel something, right? That's when you add value. When you teach them something or when you make them feel a certain type of way. So when I'm educating people and they're learning something and that's value. When I say something that gets them emotionally involved, that's value. So what do I mean by education, right? Something as simple as you just explaining what Forex is, is valuable. People don't join Forex, they join people. Put your face on camera. And if you think, Ray, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Guess what? They don't know what you're talking about either. Hell, they, you know a lot more than they do because you're a part of the opportunity, right? You know a lot more than they do. Even if you know the bare minimum, you might not, you, you might not know more than me, but you know more than them. So education, getting on camera and explaining what Forex is, right? Showing somebody the harmonic scanning, showing somebody the education, right? You know what I would do? I, I might take a screenshot of this call and I'll edify it. I'll put it on a call like, damn, I'm listening to, you know, to millionaire mentors or whatever. The next six months are going to be amazing. But if you just post a screenshot of me talking and just say, I'm locked in, they don't know what that is. Edification is key. They don't know what that is. I'm locked in one, one millionaire mentors, my six figure mentors, right? The next six months are going to be ridiculous. I hope you don't miss out, right? That's value. Show them the harmonic scanner. Show them, you know, cover the profits. Don't show them the profits. Cover the profits, right? But show them how easy it is to copy paste profit, right? Now, emotions. How do you get their emotions involved, right? You have to add value. Think about it. I want you to think about this, right? Think about your current situation. Think about your current situation. Some of you guys have a job. Some of you guys have a job that you don't like. Some of you guys have a job that's not paying you enough money. Some of you guys have two jobs. Some of you guys have two kids. Some of you guys you know, are in school. Some of you guys are in debt. Some of you guys are unhappy. Some of you guys are going through depression. But guess what? You're not the only one that's going through this, but you're the only one that has a solution. I'm going to say it one more time. You're not the only one that's going through this, but you're the only one that has a solution. Therefore, you are valuable. So talk about what other people don't want to talk about. There are thousands of people that have jobs that they hate, but nobody wants to talk about how they, want to, how they hate their job because they want to seem happy on Instagram. They want to fake it. They want to put up this front. You, you have a solution. So you can go on Instagram and say, yeah, I have a job that I don't like, bro. They're not paying me enough. But guess what, bro? That's why I started investing in Forex. So like, oh, shit. He has a job and he got a, a solution. Come on, bro. Now, now they, 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 they see it an answer to their problems. Right? You see the difference there? I don't have to bet, yo, bro, come join Forex. No, I'm showing you, bro. For my people that got jobs, I got a job too, bro. For my people that are in college. I, me, I went to college. And I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grow up. I just went to college because my parents told me to go, right? I didn't know what I wanted to study. I was lost, right? And there was a lot of kids that were lost, but none of them had what I had, which was a solution and answer. If you're somebody that wants to start making money, bro, before you, you know, if you're in college, but don't know what to do, bro, you're like, damn, like, I want to make money. I, you know, during college, I don't want to be a broke college kid, boom, right? <clears throat> You're somebody that has kids, right? I have kids and, 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 I'm, and I'm struggling, right? Somebody said some of us trapping at the band. Well, if you're trapping, let's talk about that. 
right? Talk about it. You're not the only person trapping or doing things that are illegal, right? Exactly. But you might be the only person that has a solution so that you don't have to be in the streets no more. Right? Everybody's in the, people's in the streets, but who got a solution to get out the streets that's not rapping or being a basketball player, right? So, you know, when you do that, you add value, right? Because people are gonna start to relate to you. When people see Forex, right? They think you gotta be a certain type of person. You gotta be annoying, right? You gotta be a nerd. You gotta be super smart. You gotta not have a job, right? But when you start to be yourself and say things and people can relate to you, people are gonna feel as though, yo, he has a job, I have a job. He hates his job, I hate my job. He's trading Forex, I can trade Forex, right? He got kids, I got kids, right? He doesn't have a lot of time, I don't have a lot of time. He trades Forex, I can trade Forex. Is that making sense? Hopefully that's making sense, man. Hopefully that's making sense, man. Hopefully that's making sense, right? So you just have to continue to add value. Document your story, right? Document your story. Another thing, right? Stop giving off broke vibes. Okay, <clears throat> stop giving off broke vibes, right? Absolutely, we, we pay taxes, but stop giving off broke vibes. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how you make your money. Now let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it. If you make twenty dollars. You're not gonna wanna talk, you're not gonna wanna tell people. You're gonna be like, oh, I didn't make enough money, bro. I don't wanna tell nobody, uh, right? But think about it. Think about it. If you made $20, my bad, I was getting, I was getting a phone call. But if you, if you made $20, right? If you made $20, it's not a lot of money, but if you made it in five minutes, it's a lot of money now, right? So I need you to brag about that. Get excited, show gratitude. You wanna know how to, how to, you know, increase abundance. You have to be grateful for what you have. You don't need a demo account. The only you want a demo account because you want to fake it. I don't. I don't need a demo account. I made twenty dollars. Okay, cool. Guess what? I made twenty dollars in five minutes. Let's do the math, ladies and gentlemen. Five minutes, right? We have sixty minutes in an hour, right? You get paid twenty dollars in an hour. I made twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Even if you make forty in an hour, if you got a good job, you make forty an hour. Guess what? I made twenty dollars in five minutes, right? 60 divided by five, that's 12. 12 times 20, that's 240. I just made $240 in an hour. I make more money than every, I'm, come on, bro. What about if you do a one minute trade on HFX? 20, are you serious? I made $20 a minute, 20 times 60, that's 1200 in an hour? What job is doing that for you? What job is doing that for you? But it's all about your perspective. You're so busy worried about how small it is that you're not being grateful for what you made. I made $20 in five minutes. If I did this for an hour straight, I would make $240. It's a different perspective, but you have to be grateful. It's called gratitude. I know a lot of times you hear the word grateful, you're like, Ray, how, how, how does me being grateful for what I have gonna make me rich? That's how. Because you're grateful for that $20 that you made. You want $1,000, but you're not even grateful for the 20 that you made. That's what's gonna get people interested. Because guess what? If you go on Instagram and say, yo, I made $1,000, right? People are gonna hit you up. But then the moment they don't make a thousand dollars, they're gonna quit. The moment they don't make a thousand dollars, they're gonna quit. But the person that's, that sees twenty dollars in five minutes and sees the value, they're gonna be like, "Yeah, I, I need parts. I need parts. I need parts." Right? 
And you shouldn't feel like you have to prove anything to anybody. We would say, oh, cash out to prove it. Be confident. Stop folding. Right? Oh, show me some cash. Tell them it'll all make sense. Tell them it'll all make sense. They ask you, how much money, ha how, how much money are you making? Well, I'm going to make my first six figures from this opportunity. Tell them that. The next time they ask you how much money you make, I'm going to make my first six figures from this opportunity. Tell them that. They're going to be like, oh, oh, snap. Tell them that next time. The next time they ask you how much money you make, because if you say if you say too much, they're going to think you're lying. If you say too little, they're going to start hating. So you tell them, yo, I'm going to make six figures from this, bro. I'm going to make, just look in your mind. Don't look like I'm playing with you, boy. I'm about to make six figures this time next year. I'm about to make six figures in the next six months. Whatever it is, but you tell people what's going on, right? You have to manifest it. Don't just manifest it to yourself. Manifest it to the world. Manifest it to the world. Because when, when, you, when you manifest it to yourself, you're okay with letting yourself down. But when you let the world know, your reputation's on the line now. Right? Your pride is on the line. Your reputation's on the line. So don't, don't keep that to yourself. I'm gonna be a six-figure earner. So if it doesn't happen, it's cool because nobody knew. But if I, I told the whole world, I'm gonna be a six-figure earner from this opportunity. I'm gonna be a chairman. I'm, I'm gonna be a chairman. And because I told the world that, now I had no choice but to do it. Because I refused to have people laughing at me, making jokes about me. Oh, I thought you was going chairman, big bro. I thought you was going to make six figures, bro. I thought that Forex stuff was going to work, right? I put myself out there. <clears throat> excuse me. I put myself out there. On <clears throat> I put myself out there on purpose, though. I put myself out there on purpose because that forced me to work. That forced me to work. Right? That forced me to work, man. That forced me to work. Right, post like that, and people are gonna DM you. They're gonna be like, "What is he talking about? What is he talking about? He keeps talking about how he's gonna make six figures this time next year." I'm interested. Right now, people are DMing you because you're ta you're talking about it. Right, I'm part of the next groundbreaking company. The company I'm a part of is 300,000 members. We're gonna get to a million, bro. You can be a part of that. Right. Imagine getting in on Facebook before Facebook, Apple before Apple. What if you got in on Bitcoin when it was 10 cents? You missed out on Bitcoin, but you can't miss out on this. You missed out on Bitcoin, but you can't miss out on this. All right? If you follow me along so far, let me know so I can move on. This just makes sense. This is so simple, man. And, and, and if you couldn't take notes, bro, get the notes from somebody. I'm on a limited time frame. I'm going to try to get as much out as I can. I'm going to try to get as much sauce as I can out. Okay. Now they DM you. Now you're posting the right way. You got to post 10 times a day minimum. Listen. 10 times a day minimum. If you don't post 10 times a day, it don't matter. And if you half-ass your post, if you're just posting just to do it, no. You got to post with intention. I, you got to post trying to get people to hit you up. Don't just post just to post. Post trying to get people to hit you up. Post trying to get people to hit you up, okay? Now people DM you. Now let's talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. I want to know. What are some of the things that they say in your DMs? What are some of the things that they say in your DMs? What are some of the things that they say in your DMs? Right? How much money you make? Not, and they, they, they go from what is Forex to they start hating. Now they start hating. It's the pyramid scheme for me. I heard it's a scam. I heard it's not real. Scam, 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 scam. Cap, 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 cap. It's not real, not real, not real. All right? Show me some money. Why are you still living with your mom? They're going to say all this BS. They're going to ask you all this, oh, how much does it cost? They're going to they're gonna ask you all these questions, bro. All these questions, bro. All these questions, bro. Now stop. Let's stop the chat. Everybody stop the chat. Stop the chat. Let's stop the chat. Skirt. 
Wow, that was effective. Right? Let's talk about it. Okay? This is what you do. Remember, you are a five-star business. You think a five-star business is going back and forth with you? Remember, the power is in your hand. The moment they hit you up is the moment they became vulnerable. The, the ball is in your hand. You, let me tell you something. You don't never, 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 never try to pitch or explain yourself through text messages, through the DMs. Because when you do that, you leave too much room for interpretation. You say, how much does it cost? 235? Oh, uh, that's too much money. You don't even know what you're paying for. You're saying it's too much money. Right? You don't even know what you're paying for and it's too much money. Right? Understand that. So you cannot answer through DMs. This is what you say. They're going to ask you a lot of questions. You got to remember, right? When they're asking and you're answering, you're playing defense. They say, how much it costs? You react. They say, what's the price? You react. They say, is it real? You react. Right? They ask you a question, you answer. You got to turn the tables and get the ball in your hands. Get the ball in your hands. So you know what I say? I say, hey, hey, Rachel, I see that you have a lot of questions. Have you ever been on one of our webinars before? Have you ever been on one of our webinars before? Ask a question. Answer a question with a question. They're like, well, what's the webinar? Mind you, I didn't say call because a call is informal. I said webinar. A webinar is professional. A webinar is professional. A call is, they know what a call is. He might not even know what a webinar is. Excuse me, sir. I see that you have a lot of questions. Have you been on one of our webinars before? Right? Now, they're so distracted by your question that they forget that they ask you all the questions. They're distracted by the kid. Like, What's the webinar? What's the webinar? Right? And then you follow the same game plan. Now, I'm asking the questions. Remember, you DM me, bro. You DM me. Remember that. You DM me. Somebody said, what if you don't think they can relate to the webinar? Well, guess what? If you're already thinking like that, then they're definitely not going to relate. You need to stop having these negative minds. This negative mind. Right? So you know what I do? You know what I do? Don't just tell them to get in a webinar. Right? Don't just tell them, yo, I got a, I got a call. Right? And, and that's what it comes down to. And, and I love that somebody said it. You got to stop thinking and just do it. Right? You got to stop thinking and just do it. The more you contemplate, what if this, what if that, just do it. Right? You got to trust that what I'm saying is real. If you don't trust the words that are coming out of my mouth, it's not going to work. So look, have you ever been on a webinar before? Cool. Perfect. Now, don't just tell them, okay, here's the link. Because what's going to happen is you're going to tell them, yo, here's the 730 link. Get on the call. And he's not going to get on the call. Right? You're going to hit him up, and he's going to forget. Yeah, bro, I forgot about it. Can I get on the call tomorrow? That's because you didn't edify it, boy. You got to make it. You got to make it seem important. What's the webinar? I don't know. I've never been on. What is that? Listen, bro. You ever talked to a millionaire before? You ever talked to a millionaire before? Guess what? Tonight at 730, my million... I don't want you to hear it from me, bro. I don't want you to hear it from me, bro. I want you to hear it from my millionaire mentor. Right? He's very busy. And he's hosting an exclusive webinar where he's going to explain to you Exactly how Forex works, right? Exactly how Forex works and how you can make money with it, right? Tonight at 7.30, your call happens. I don't know when's the next time it's going to happen, bro, right? Last time I had to wait a few months to get this link. Here's the link. I didn't, mind you, I didn't ask him are you free? Because I don't care if you're free. Here's the link. 
You DM me. Tonight, there's a millionaire mentor, bro. Like, I can only bring one other person. So lucky that you DM me first, right? Lucky that you DM me first because I can only bring one other person. <clears throat> right? The call is tonight. Bro, if you've never, you want to make a million dollars, bro, guess what? How are you going to make a million dollars if you never talked to a millionaire before? Right? It is what it is. And they're going to get on that call. They're going to get on that call. If they say, oh, I don't have time. I, I, I can't make it tonight. I can't make it tonight. I can't make it tonight. Perfect. Because I got 10 other people waiting. I got 10 other people waiting. Stop acting. Listen, let me tell you guys something. Here's the thing. Here's the key to this. Stop acting. Stop acting like you need them. Stop fiending. Nah, bro, just get on the call. Stop fiending. Make it seem like you don't need them. Make it seem like you're true to this not new to this. Make it seem like your DMs is booming. Make it seem like your DMs is booming. I'm gonna make a post on Instagram that says, I got 10 spots available. I got 10 spots available. If nobody DMs me, an hour later, I'm gonna say, I only have one spot left. And then somebody's gonna hit you up like, yeah, but let me get that last spot. Let me get that last spot. I got 10 spots available, boom. Now I only got one spot. Yeah, let me get that last one, bro. So that's what you do. That's how you get them on the call, bro. That's how you get them on the call. It's simple. That's how you get them on the call, right? If they say, I, I, I'm not free right now. I'm not free right now. I can't do tonight. Tell them this. If they say, I can't do tonight, tell them this. Right? My mentor won't be available to talk to you for another two weeks. My mentor won't be available to talk to you for another two weeks. And then they might change their mind. Right? But they're going to get on that car. They're going to get exposed. And you do that with as many people as possible, day in, day out. Sense of urgency. And lastly, and lastly, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about my favorite part, how to pitch. Who wants to know, how do I pitch? Somebody said, what if they still see us posting about the webinar and stop posting about the webinar? How do I pitch? Somebody asked me as far as DMing people. Me, I don't DM people. I never did. And it, it, it never worked for me. And it never worked. It, it's something thirsty about DMing somebody and convincing them to want to make money. I never did. I, I, I'm not going to say I, I, I haven't done it. I've done it, but it never worked. But if I were to do it, I would say, look, bro, I got an opportunity where I can get you on the phone with a millionaire. I'm saying try something, but I'm, that's not my specialty. My specialty isn't DMing randoms. How do you pitch? Okay, perfect. Okay, so this, I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna wrap up this call with how to pitch, and then we'll go from there. Right now, this is what happens. People DM you, and you have two options. You can either get them on a webinar, or you can get them on the phone yourself. Those are your two options. Those are your two options. You can either get them on the webinar or get them on the, on the phone yourself. Or get them on your phone yourself. This, I'm gonna walk you through the DMs. It's the same process. Somebody DMs you, they're asking questions, but instead of saying, 
Have you been on one of our webinars before? Have you been on one of our webinars before you say, hey, have you had a one-on-one -on -one consultation already? Have we gotten a chance to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation? That's super professional, right? Super professional. They're gonna be like, no, I haven't been on a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Here's where you mess up. Here's where you mess up. What you mess up is that you ask them, okay, bro, when are you free to get on the phone? They tell you I'm free at 5 p.m. And then when it comes 5 p.m., they disappear. I know that's happened to all of you. You say, hey, when are you free? I'm free at five, bro. Hit me up. You hit them up. They not free. It's because you gave them the power. You have to maintain the power. So well, you, know what I, you know what I say? When they say, oh, I, have you had a one-on-one -on -one consultation before? They're like, no. I say, look, here's my schedule. I have two availabilities left. I have one at 5 p.m. and one at 7 p.m. Let me know if either of those work for you. When you, fellas, when you hit up your barber, your barber doesn't ask you, hey, bro, when do you want me to come cut your hair? Ladies, when you want to get your hair done, your hairdresser doesn't say, hey, sweetheart, when do you want me to come do your hair? They say, I'm available at this time, this time, this time, pick a time. Remember, you're the professional. You work on my time. I don't work on your time. Why? Because they need you. I'm, I got million dollar information. Remember, remember who DM'd who? Remember, you DM me, bro. I didn't DM you. You DM me. Right? I got a one on one consultation. I got one at five and I got one at seven. Let me know if either of those work for you. He's going to pick a time. Oh, I'm ready at 5 p.m. Okay, cool, bro. I'm going to go ahead and lock you in and send you a confirmation. I'll talk to you at five. Right? Or he's going to say, neither of those times work for me. But I don't want you to fold and be like, yeah, bro, okay, if those don't work for you, I'll make time for you. No, you say, look, bro, I won't have another availability in my schedule until this time next month. Tell them that. I won't have enough. You got to act like you're busy, bro. Stop acting broke. Stop acting like nobody wants to feel like they're the first sucker to get got. Make it seem like, damn, he's busy, he's lit. But I'm not gonna be available till this time next week, this time next month. Nope, people don't like to wait. He's gonna be like, ah, oh, all right, bro, I can get on, I'll make time. I thought so. Let me go ahead and lock you in. Right? If somebody turns you down, you are, I'm about to show you. This is how you get it. This, Listen, this is how you do it. Now the time comes for me to call him. The time comes for me to call him, right? The time comes for me to call him. What if he's actually busy and you lose the prospect? Then he'll get on next week. Listen to me, family. If you come into it with a negative mindset, all of the bad things are going to happen to you. I don't even think about him not having time. I don't care. I don't even think about him saying no. I don't care about that. Right? You're going to be asking all these what if situations and you're never going to put in the work. So this is what you do. Right? And mind you, you and, and before I get to here, I want you to ask yourself, if you saw you, would you join you? If you saw yourself, would you, would you want to be like you? And if the answer is no, that's the answer to your question. If you saw you, would you want to be like you? Right? Now let's talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. The pitch. I'm about to get you guys out of here. The pitch. Okay? If you want to learn how to pitch, you need to get on a webinar. And you need to listen to the webinar every day. To listen to the information every day, daily. You need to listen to the webinar every day. You want to learn how to pitch? I'm not, about to, I'm not about to walk you through the pitch. I need you to get on the webinar and listen to the information, right? You don't know it because you don't listen to it enough, right? You don't know it because you don't listen to it enough. Now, go learn the information. Now, this is what you do when you pick up the phone. 
right? When you pick up the phone, the first thing they're going to expect you to do is to talk about Forex. They're going to be playing defense. They're going to have selective hearing. They're going to be like, okay, <clears throat> I know he's going to try to sell me, so I'm going to listen for the catch. So no matter how good the information is, all they hear is the price and recruitment. I knew it was a catch. I knew it had to be a scam, right? Because they're on the defensive. They're on the defensive. So you can't get on the phone and start talking about Forex immediately. You can't get on the phone and start talking about Forex immediately. Instead, you got to talk about him. Get to know him. That's the first thing I do when I get on the phone. You got to get to know him. Like, I'm going to call him. I'm going to get on the phone. I'm going to say, hey, what's going on, John? This is Ray, Reynaldo Perez, a, a, a junior associate here at Trade House Investment Group. How are you doing today? Look at that. That's easy open. What's going on, bro? This is Ray, a, a senior associate here at Trade House Investment Group. How are you doing today? What's going on, John? How are you doing today? This is Ray. I'm a junior associate here at Trade House Investment Group. We're going to start calling you sir, ma'am, my talk of stuff. Right? How are you doing today? Right? So, you know, I, I know you DM me and you were interested in talking about Forex, but, you know, before we get started, I want to get to know you a little bit better to make sure that this is an opportunity for you. Right? Before we get started, I want to get to know you a little bit better to see if this opportunity is a good fit for you. I want to see if you're a good fit for this opportunity. Right? I want to see if this is something that, that, that you could be doing. Right? I, Forex isn't for everybody. Right? So that's what I'm going to talk about. Where are you from, John? What do you do for a living, John? What do you do for a living, John? Oh, you went to school, John? What'd you major in, John? You got kids, John? You're just asking them questions. Okay, cool. And be creative, right? Do you have any side hustle, John? What's your goal in the next five years, John? Right? John, if you had all the money in the world, if you had all the money in the world, what would you be doing right now? And then John's like, damn, nobody ever asked me that before. Well, I mean, I have a job, but if I had all the money in the world, I would start my own clothing brand, right? I would go into the fashion industry. Right? I would travel the world, right? I'm figuring out what it is that you want, what it is that you desire. What are your problems? Oh, you work at Jive John? What do you work at? Okay, cool, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, John, that's great. Uh, about um, you know, that's great. You're just getting to know him. You're getting to know him. You're getting to know him, right? Where you from? What do you do for a living? Just come on. Common sense, here. common sense stuff, excuse me, my friends. Common sense, right? You got to identify their problem and then provide Forex as the solution. Your problem is that you get on the phone and try to pitch Forex and you don't even know what the problem is. What if they don't want to do Forex, right? They might not want to do Forex, but they might want to quit their job or they might want to make more time for their kids or they, wanna make, they might want to make more money so that they can start their own business, whatever it is. Right. And I'm talking to them about it, whatever. And after I'm done talking to them about it, I explain Forex. OK, John, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, give you insight as to what, you know, how Forex works, blah, 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 blah. You want, I'm not about to. I can't teach you on that. You need to go. You need to go learn the information. I can't cheat you of that experience. So you pitch them this on a third, you know, just how foreign exchange market works, copy, paste, profit, blah, 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 blah. Boom. This is the price, ah, uh, boom. And then you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask him, so what do you think? And then he's gonna say, uh, I gotta do some research. Uh, I gotta think about it. I don't have the money right now, right? Cause it, it all sounds good. I don't have the money right now, but let me tell you guys something. Nobody signed up. Nobody signed up because of the harmonic scanner. Nobody signs up because of the harmonic scanner. Let me tell you guys something. Never get off the phone. You don't get off the phone until he says yes or until he hangs up in your face. But you never just let him get off the phone. You never let him get off the phone. Somebody says, your job is to contradict them. Now you got to choke them. This is how you close them. You got to get them to make an emotional decision. <clears throat> you got to choke them. 
right? <clears throat> I got to do more research. I got to do more research. So tell me, brother, right? I just spent 30 minutes step-by-step step explaining to you and breaking it down to you, you how Forex works that you need to do more research. You can be like, what, this what, tell them this. What more research do you have to do? Let me tell you something, John, right? No offense, right? But if you do your own research, you're going to come to your own conclusion, right? Isn't that why you're in the situation that you're at in the first place? If you go do your own research, you're going to read it and you're going to come to your own conclusion, John, and that's you taking your own advice. And remember what I told you earlier, John, you have to take the advice of people that have the success that you want. Right? So right, right now, John, remember, you told me, John, that you're working at Walgreens and that you don't like your job, right? If you take the advice of somebody that works at Walgreens and doesn't like your job, do you think you're going to get, you know, good results? And then he's like, what? You got to choke him. I'm not letting you off the phone, bro. You got to show him that what he says does not align with what he's doing. He's saying this, I want this, I want that, I want to be rich, I want to quit my job, but this is what he's doing, right? He's not doing anything that can get you to what you want. So I'm going to expose you on the phone. He said that he, that he wants to start up his own clothing brand. Let's talk about it, John, right? Let's be honest, John. Let's be honest, John. At this pace, if you keep doing the same things that you're doing, right? If nothing changes, are you going to be able to quit your job and build your clothing brand? Let's talk about it, John. Ask him questions like, okay, John, how much does your job pay you an hour? $30. Okay. Do you think that that's what you're worth, John? Let me tell you something, John. Nobody's ever told you this, but you're worth a lot more than $30. And let's be honest, John, with bills and with the current climate in today's economy, do you think that $30 an hour with bills right? You're going to have the, enough money saved up to do the things that you want to do, John. And then he starts to realize that he's been BSing this whole time. He starts to realize that, damn, this whole time I'm saying that I, I, I got a five-year plan. I'm going to go into real estate, but you said you want to go into real estate, but for the first time, somebody's questioning how you're going to do it. Your mom and your dad might let you just say, yeah, mom, I'm going to do real estate, but I'm going to ask you how. And you don't have an answer to that because you don't know how. Right? Let's be honest, John. When's the last time you got on the phone with somebody that talked to you about how to make a million dollars? I'm not talking about joking. I'm not talking about wishful thinking, John. When's the last time you got on the phone with somebody that talked to you about a million dollar opportunity? Seriously. Never. Exactly, John. Opportunities like this do not come every single day. Opportunities like this do not come every single day. He's stuck right now, right? Think about it, John. How old are you? Uh, I'm 26. Think about it, John, right? In four years, you'll be 30, bro, before you know it. In four years, you'll be 30 before you know it. If you don't take a shot right now, right? to invest in yourself, bro, right? What's going to happen is most people hit that age and they start to give up. How old are you, bro? Oh, I'm 18. So you're 18, you're not in college, so you don't have a college degree, and you're working at Walgreens, right? Let me tell you guys, let me tell you something, bro. I know you're 18, but, and they're going to make you think as though you have all the time in the world, but you don't. Before you know it, you'll be 30, bro. Life goes by fast, and you have to make a decision to make a change, right? Think about it. Choke him. You know, Ray, I, I, I have to pray on it. I got, I, got, I got to pray on it. John, you've already prayed on it. I want you to ask yourself, John, is this the first time, right, that you ever prayed for an opportunity to change your life? This is not the first time that you prayed for it, but this is the first time that it's been presented to you, John. Remember, you prayed for this, and now here it is. God sent me.
right? God sent me. So all you have to do is contradict them. Don't get off the phone. Don't get off the phone. Show them that they're not going to get paint the picture of their life. If you keep going in this path, this is going to happen. But if you go on this path, this is going to happen. If you keep going on this path, right, tell them. Because they, they don't talk about it. They think, oh, yeah, I got a game plan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work my little job, and I'm going to save enough money to quit. But then once you start talking about it, okay, you're going to work your little job. Now what? Now what? Now what? They, they don't have a game plan. Once they realize they don't have a game plan, they start to choke on it. Somebody, and, and you, you get them to make an emotional decision. That's how they're going to sign up. They're going to sign up. And listen, don't ask them, are you ready to get started? Just tell them, you know what, John? This is what we're going to do, John. Are you ready for changing your life? Right? Because from what it sounds like, it sounds like you're tired of living the same life and you finally want to get the chance to build your clothing brand. You finally want to get the chance to, to, to get into real estate. This is what I'm going to do, John. I'm going to send you the link right now. I'm going to send you the link right now. I'm going to walk you through how to get started. And tomorrow we're going to make money. This time tomorrow we're going to make money. I need you to get started right now because tomorrow there's a live session. Tomorrow a trade's coming out. Tomorrow is payday. And I don't want you to miss out on that. I don't want you to miss out on that, John. Tomorrow is payday. So I'm going to send you the link. Don't hang up on him. Because if you hang up, if you hang up, he's going to think about it and then he's not going to sign up. You need to walk him through it on the phone. Okay, bro. Click get started. Click get started. Click the platinum package. Okay. Let me know when you're about to click join. Once he joins, welcome to the family, John. Welcome to the family. I'm going to go ahead and you, he already paid. Welcome to the family, John. I'm going to go ahead and send you the link to the Telegram. I'm going to send you the link to the, um, to the, to the brokerage account. And we're going to go ahead and get you started. You choke him, bro. You don't let him off the phone. The only way he gets off, the only way he gets off the phone is if he hangs up on you. And if he hangs up on you is because if he opens his mouth, he's going to say yes. So rather than open his mouth, he's going to get off the phone. He's going to say, yeah, somebody's calling me. If, if he tells you that his mom's calling him, he's lying. He's not, he's lying. He's trying to get you off the phone because he knows he contradicted himself. If I open his mouth, I, I, got, I got nothing to say. I got to say yes. So don't hang up. Send him the link on the phone and walk him through it on the phone live. He's feeling the energy. He's like, damn, bro, he's, he's right. Think about it, bro. You're never going to get another opportunity to talk about a million dollars like this, bro. Right? Now, what if he doesn't have the money? You got to show me that you don't have the money. Oh, I don't have the money right now. You mean to tell me, bro, that you have an opportunity to spend $235 minimum, minimum and that's what it is. I've had people, yo, screenshot me your bank account. I've had people do that. If you don't, if you don't have, you got to prove it to me. Screenshot, I've had people screenshot me their bank account and show me that they have $100. I had somebody screenshot me their bank account and show me that they had hundred dollars. I said, "Wow, bro, you got hundred dollars, right? Do you have a PS4? Do you have a PS5? Do you have some Jordans, right? Is there anything that you can sell so that you never have to have only hundred dollars in your bank account? Is there anything that you can sell so that you never have to only have hundred dollars in your bank account? John, do you have anybody that cares about you?" Do you have anybody that cares about you? I need you to call them right now and I need you to borrow the money and tell them you're gonna pay them back because that's sick. You only have $100 in your bank account, bro. You're 23 years old. How you only got $100 in your bank account? How do you only, you're grown. You're 25 years old with kids. How do you only have $100 in your bank account? I need you to sell that PlayStation 5, bro. Or I need you to call your mother. Do you have a mom, bro? Will she let you borrow the money, bro? Yep. Call her right now. Tell her to cash up for you. Let's get you started. I'm not getting off the phone until I tell you yes. Until I get a yes. You got to hang up on me. You got to, me, you got to hang up on me. You got to hang up on me. Sometimes I do FaceTime. Sometimes I do over the phone. Sometimes I do FaceTime so you can see me face to face. And I take the chain off. You got a PlayStation 5, you got to make them feel uncomfortable. 
And now if he says no, you planted a seed. If he says no, that's fine. But now he's thinking. He's going to remember that for the rest of the month. Like, damn. He's going to be at his job and then he's going to get to his breaking point one day and he's going to hit you up. He might say no today, but he's going to hit you up later. Like, yeah, bro, I thought about what you said. I'm ready to get started. I thought about what you said. I'm ready to get started because you planted the seed. See, it's not about getting a yes. It's about exposing. It's about getting the emotions involved. Right? It's about getting the emotions involved. And you know what happens after he joins? After he joins tomorrow, I'm going to make sure that he gets in the trade and he makes money. And then he's gonna, his mind's going to be blown. Like, wow, bro. I can't believe this was real. Because when they join, they don't join because they believe. They don't join because they believe. They join because their emotions got involved. But once they get results, they'll believe. If it's in person, if I got a waiter coming up to me, I'm going to ask them, hey, miss, how long you been working here? Right? And I'm going to say something crazy like, how long you been working here, miss? Oh, you've been working here for six months? Right? If I, had, if, I, if I could tell you about something, right, that can get you to quit your job, would you want to hear more? I didn't say four. I said, if I, if I can tell you about something that can help you quit your job, right? Because I know, I know that you're worth a lot more than they, that they, they can afford to pay you. Would you be interested? The moment they say yes, boom. You ever heard of Forex? Boom. Right? So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the call, man. I love and appreciate you guys for getting on here and tuning in. Hopefully, this is going to help you guys launch. But you guys got to understand that it is a responsibility. If you play this game, you need to make sure that you make them money. Don't just go out here taking people's money without making them money, right? So I love you guys all. 